What's goody? Welcome back to the winner's circle, y'all. So I'm about to give y'all five red flags that it's time to cut them off. Because sometimes we we be liking people so much. We got so much love for them. They might be friends. Um, they might be family members. And sometimes we just let people slide because of the longevity of the relationship. Especially those type of people that we've been knowing since childhood. We tend to give them a lot of passes and don't be cutting them off when clearly they disrespecting us, when they clearly they sneak dissing us, when clearly they hating or they jealous or, <clears throat> excuse me, or they in secret competition with us. So I'm about to give y'all five signs, five red flags that it's time to cut them off. But you already know before I start y'all, if you've been rocking with me for a while, I just love y'all so much. Thank you for being here and supporting me at the Winner's Circle. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, follow, join, do whatever you got to do, whatever platform you're watching this on to join the Winner's Circle, y'all. But uh, let, let, let me say this, though, before I get started. Um, there's a lot of um, haters in the comment section, a lot of trolls. Um, and normally I don't care about no haters. I don't care what they say, got, to, got going on. But there's one thing that I, that I have to address um, when I see trolls commenting. Um, and it's the fact that, oh, my God, why are you charging for, for your information? Oh, my God, why do you charge for sessions? Um, oh, my God, why are you charging for information? Listen. I run a business. I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. I run a business, not a charity, okay? And the knowledge that I give is valuable. My time is valuable. My energy is value, valuable. And although I love doing what I do, this is how I pay my bills. Just as you would go to a therapist and pay a therapist, you go to a life coach and pay a life coach. And I don't mean to toot my own horn. I, my own horn. I, um, I respect therapists, counselors, all those people, but... They not going to give you the information like I'm going to give you what I what I got going on. It's not it don't come from a textbook. It's spiritual. It's my calling. It's my gift. It's it's um it's my natural ability to help you with any problem in life. And I do mean any problem, any problem in life. And you guys can already see the type of knowledge and information that I have in these videos and these videos that I have, whether it's a short or a reel on Facebook or Instagram or a long video on YouTube like this, you can see that it's loaded with information. And these videos are for the masses. It's for, it's very general to where everybody can relate to. So imagine if you booked a session and my knowledge that I'm giving you is going to be geared specifically to, towards your situation, towards your um, circumstances, towards your life, towards your fi financial problems, tor towards your children, towards your household. The knowledge that I give people is priceless, okay? So yes, I charge for my services. Yes, I charge for my time. It blows my mind how people want to watch my videos and take all of this information and still want to want me to give sessions to people without charging. It's giving, take, 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 take. At what point do I get poured back into? You know what I'm saying? We, we don't just take, 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 take from people, okay? So if there's anyone out there who's like, why are you charging for this? Just as you, listen, your gifts and your talents, your natural abilities, your calling, the things that God has endowed you with, it is meant for you to have your abundance. That's how you attract your abundance. Look at um, your, your favorite basketball player. Their natural born talent is how they get their abundance. They don't work for no one else. Look at your, um, your favorite singer, your favorite actor. It's natural born talent. It's God given talent that, that, um, that they're getting their abundance. Okay. They're making way more money than a nine to five ever could. That's how you get your abundance. So I'm operating in my calling. And yes, I deserve to get reciprocated back to me. So yes, I charge for my services and it is more than worth it. After this video, I will post um, testimonials in the community section. So, and I think I've had before, but there's a lot of newcomers um, and I haven't even been doing YouTube very long. I've been um, doing uh, Facebook and Instagram for much longer, but, um, and the page is growing fast y'all, but, um, a lot of you guys are just now getting to know me. So, um, I don't, I don't mind showing you, um, the results. I don't mind showing you that the proof is in the pudding. I don't mind showing you that I am who I say I am and I'm legit and either you're going to pay for it or you're not. But to be in my inbox, in my, um, DMS and, um, emailing me saying how I should just give all these thousands of people free sessions is absurd. Just like you will go anywhere else to pay for a service, you have to pay for my service, okay? But I love you all. And if um, you got, and to those who are respecting that, I love y'all so much. Y'all been booking sessions left and right. But I am going to post in the community section after this video um, 
um, some testimonials so that you can see. I have people emailing me and texting me like, Ebony, that set, that Coach E, that session really gave me a breakthrough. Oh my God, you told me to do this and it's working. Oh my God, you told me to do this for my specific situation and you know, I've got money coming through, opportunities coming through. I got a promotion at work. Like the proof is there, okay? But anyway, y'all, thank you for listening to my rant. I just have to get that out because there's some weirdos out there. It's some weirdos. People just want to take, 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 take. And I give away so much free knowledge, okay? So much free knowledge, okay? So, but I, all of you who appreciate me back, I appreciate y'all so much because this is not always easy um, to get up here and 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 give so much information all the time for free, you know, and, and I do love doing it, but I appreciate you guys for giving me comments, giving me likes, giving me shares, um, pouring back into me just as I pour into you guys, okay? So let's get into it, you guys. Five red flags that it's time to cut them off, okay? And the first one is you the faucet and they the drain. If you have somebody in your life who's constantly, who you're constantly pouring into, you're constantly bossing their life back up. You, the, you know, they always calling you because they got a problem. They're always asking you for advice. You're always helping them with their relationship, always lending them money, always giving them rides. You're always there for them. You're always supporting them. But when it comes time for you to maybe need something, you need a helping hand, you need a ride, you need advice, you need their time. They're not able to pour into you. They're never able to reciprocate that energy. Cut them off, y'all. Cut them off. Cut the faucet off because they're draining you. You're the faucet. You're, you got this flow. You got this heavy flow. You're pouring into them. You're pouring into them. You're pouring into them. And they're that drain. They're just sucking up that water, draining your energy. And when it's time to pour back into you, when you need something, because if you're part of the winner's circle, you're probably the type of person who don't never ask nobody for nothing anyway. Comment in the comment section if you don't never ask nobody for nothing. So the moment you do ask somebody for something, you probably really need it. And you know, you constantly there for that person and you finally get the, not the courage, but the, you humble yourself because when you a winner, when you a chosen one, when you these, when you uh, when you like me, you don't ask nobody for nothing. You self reliant, and when you don't got it, you thug it out, man. It's just you and God. Or if you got parents, that might be the only people that you ask something for. I, I know that my mom and my daddy is the shout out to my mom and my daddy. I love y'all. If y'all watching this, I love y'all so much. I love my mom and my daddy, y'all. Those are the only two people who I reach out and ask for stuff. And, and I mean, of course, when I was married, you know, my husband took care of me. Um, but that's it. I don't ask nobody for nothing. And you, pro if you own this channel, you a part of the winner's circle. You rocking it with me. You've been thugging it out with me. I know you probably don't be, you're not that needy type where you just needy all up in people. Face. Can I have, give me, give me, give me, give me. I know that's not you. So the fact that you finally was like, you know what? I'm just going to ask this person for help because I'm always there for them. And they can't reciprocate nothing. Does it blow your mind? Comment in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Or if you in, encountered that kind of person where you're constantly pouring into them, constantly feeding their soul, constantly fixing their life. But the moment you need something, they're not able to be there for you or they act like it's just this absurd request or and you just like, okay. Cut them off, y'all. Cut them off. That person is draining your energy. There is no reciprocity. There is no giving take, okay? And when you're part of the winner circle, your energy is valuable. Be stingy with it, okay? Be stingy. Be selective on who you constantly pouring into because you are valuable, but people will take advantage of that if you don't set boundaries and if you're not getting anything in return. And yes, you should respect something in return. This ain't, <laughs> this ain't free just like I was giving that spiel on yes, you got to pay for a session because that wisdom, that knowledge you pouring into people, it is not free. You And it's okay if, you know, if there's reciprocity, then there's nothing wrong with that give and take with your friend, your family members, y'all, y'all keeping each other afloat. There's nothing wrong with that. But if, if there is no reciprocity, man, type it in the comment section, reciprocity or nothing come to me correct or not at all okay reciprocity or nothing y'all so if they're not reciprocating the energy the value the um the love that you give cut it off if not it is going to continue to drain you it's going to deplete you cut it off okay the next one y'all people who don't have any ambition any goals any dreams any urgency to do better, 
um, the desire to want more, the desire to create generational wealth for their children. If you are, I know y'all know somebody, everybody knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who just ain't doing nothing. It's like these type of people, they're, they stay stagnant year after year after year after year. They just get comfortable with mediocrity. They get comfortable with like the bare minimum. They get comfortable with just not having anything. It's like they almost submit themselves to failure and bum status, okay? <laughs> we ain't rocking with no buzz when we are part of the winter circle, okay, y'all? But if you are around someone and... Because seasons change, especially when you start to grow, you start to elevate yourself, you start to step into your purpose, your calling, your confidence, you start wearing your crown, you start um, glowing up. Anytime you do that, it literally sheds light on other people's lack of. And it's okay if they're not growing at the same capacity or rate as you, but if... If they ain't growing at all and you see people in the same spot doing the same thing year after year after year and they just they're just like in this stuck stagnant energy no you got to cut those kind of people off okay you want your per you want the people that you surround yourself to be winners like here at the winner circle okay get to know each other in the comment section get to know each other in the community um in the community tab okay we is your family we your soul tribe we, at the at the winter circle you can find people who are ambitious because man I, I said it on the last video that i made y'all some y'all some bosses capital b big b stand for bands y'all some bosses y'all okay you can find like-minded people here at the winter circle but you want to surround yourself with like-minded people people with drive if you want to accomplish things Hanging out with people who are who are doing anything is dead weight. And eventually you will succumb to that. I don't care. I don't care how strong-minded you are. I'm a strong-minded individual, if y'all can't tell by now. I'm a strong-willed person. I stand firm in what I believe in, firm in what I say. And even me, I don't I won't hang around stagnant people because eventually the, it won't take over my mind, but that that you're inviting that that low vibrational behavior into your aura. You're accepting that, that into your energy and energetically you're saying, this is what I'm aligned with. No, no, no. And a bum will drain you. A bum will drain you. And what? how healthy, it, let's think about this. How healthy is it for you to be on the come up, on your glow up, stepping in your new era, your confidence, you get into the bag. Even if you're not rich, say you got... Let's say you had a dollar in your bank account, but you it's not where you at. You know where you going. You know that you that you have a focus every day. You have a destination every day. You know you got that hustle, that drive, that determination in you. How healthy is it for you to be hanging out with people who don't have that? It's not healthy for you. Because what's going to happen is you're going to start to pass them because there's levels to everything that we do. You're going to start to outgrow them. And guess what's going to happen? They're going to get jealous. They're going to start hating on you. So if you know... You prevent problems before they even happen, right? Yeah, that's what we do here at the Winter Circle. You, you, you're you aware, so you can see things a mile away. You can see, okay, this ain't gonna end well. So you don't even open the door for error because you know better. When you know better, you do better. When you know better, you, when you see better, you prevent problems from happening. If you could see the problem coming from a mile away, you prevent it from happening, right? You don't want to be around people who are jealous of you. You can't trust nobody who's jealous of you. They're going to always try to one-up you. They're going to always try to be a secret competition. And whole time, nobody needs to be jealous of anyone. Everybody got their own light, their own gifts, their own talent. Everybody got everybody got 24 hours in one day to get their mind right, to, to, make, to take steps towards their goals. Everybody got two legs, uh, 10 fingers, two hands. We all are equipped with the same thing. People, everybody has the potential, but people are not walking in their potential. <clears throat> Let me say it again. Everyone. God has given all of us the potential to be great, but people are not walking in their potential. We're not accepting people just for potential. Potential ain't good enough. And I don't want to sound cold hearted or nothing, but when you're part of the winner's circle in order to achieve what you are trying to achieve, sometimes you got to be a little bit cold. Okay. Sometimes you got to be a little bit stern. Sometimes you got to, we are not just accepting people just for potential. Especially not at this age. <laughs> Especially not if you in your 30s and 40s and stuff. You ain't doing that. Maybe if you in your, t your teens, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But even if you in your 20s, excuse me, even if you, 
excuse me, even if you're in your 20s and you watching me, let me tell you this. Listen to me because I'm seasoned so I can save you a world full of trouble. Do not accept people just for the potential. Everybody got potential. You want people to be walking in their potential, exercising their potential, growing in their potential, okay? They don't got to be perfect, but you want people aligning themselves, taking steps to aligning themselves with their potential and becoming a better version of themselves, okay? We're not accepting people just for their potential, okay? So if people got that bum energy on them, they stay in stagnant year after year after year after year, they okay with mediocrity, they okay with the bare minimum, if you're part of the winner's circle, you better not be okay with the bare minimum. It's okay to um, appreciate and accept where you are, but we're always striving to be better. We're always striving to grow. You should be growing every day. And I say this all the time. Anything not growing is dead. So we're growing every day, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. There has to be growth. There has to be growth. There has to be realizations. There has to be newness. There has to be, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Mm, let me know if you know what I'm saying, y'all. So... We, we ain't hanging around people with that stagnant, stiff energy because energetically, that's what you say that this is what you that's this is what you want. This is what you're aligning yourself with. And that's not what you want. I believe in you. I can't believe in you more than you believe in you, though. You're supposed to be growing. We're all growing together cohesively. But we ain't pulling along people who ain't growing and we can't grow for them. So you could love them from the balcony. Hey, I see you over there. I love you. I don't mean you don't love them. I love people from the balcony all the time. Ebony, I ain't heard from you. <laughs> love you from the balcony. Love you from the balcony. Okay, you guys, you can love people from the balcony. It don't mean that you don't love them or you're not there for them. Love them from the balcony. But when it comes time to hanging out and really all up in each other's energy like that, being chummy chummy with people, I don't be chummy chummy with people with um, pessimistic mindsets, people who lack um, ambition. It is, I'm, I'm allergic to it. I, I just can't because I'm so hungry. I'm so home. I'm hungry. So because I was, <laughs> that sounded greedy as hell, y'all. <laughs> Low key on that too. I love food. I'm a foodie. <laughs> but anyways, I like to be around people who hungry for knowledge. I don't want to be around no bums. I don't want to be the smartest in the group. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody. I want everybody in my crew, my winter circle, to have knowledge, and we all bringing stuff to the table. We all learning from each other, and we all teaching each other stuff, and we all growing together. I don't mean to go on a rant, but I, I literally had a girl in high school. She used to say, um, I only hang out with ugly girls so I could be the prettiest girl in the group. And I used to be looking at her friends like, ugh, that's y'all friend. Like, she don't even like y'all. She just says y'all all ugly in front of y'all face. Like, ugh, the girl, you could never be my friend. Like, what kind of poor attitude is that? I only hang out with ugly girls so I could be the ugly in, his, in the group. What? You only, and it's the same thing with people who lack ambition. You only want to hang out with pe bum people so you can feel better than them? So you can feel like you always got a, 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 the upper hand on them? That is disgusting. That's disgusting. As a matter of fact, I don't want nothing but bosses around me. I want to be around luxury. I want to be around money. I want to be around intelligence. I want to be around people who got keys so they can open up doors. We can open up doors for each other. If you feel me, let me know. Say it in the comment section. I feel you, Coach E. Anyways, okay, because I can go on and on about that with y'all. We ain't, we ain't, uh, we loving people from the balcony. We're not standing around people who don't have ambition. Cut them off, okay? It is dead weight, and at the end of the day, it's not gonna, it's not conducive to your growth. It's not conducive to your success. It's not conducive to nothing for your personal growth and development, okay? Love them from the balcony. All right, y'all, the third one. Um, People, when you leave their presence, you feel drained. When you leave a phone call with them, any kind of interaction you have with them, you feel drained because they're constantly dumping um, their emotional baggage on you. But they don't, and it's okay, but they don't hold, I'm talking about the ones who don't hold space for you too to be able to vent, for you too to be able to get wholesome advice. We ain't talking about spilling the tea. We talking about going to people who have your best interest. They're gonna give you wholesome advice. If you're not getting that from that person, I'm not talking about girl, go, go uh, slice his tires. Uh-uh. I'm talking about somebody always dumping emotional baggage on you and you're constantly bossing them up, but they don't hold space for you. They don't hold that space for you to be able to vent and get things off your chest and then them to provide wholesome advice for you. I'm not talking about people who, let me just say this, okay? Everybody know, everybody has a person that they can go to 
Everybody got people. You know who you can go to when you want to, excuse my language, when you want to be on some shit. Everybody got a person who they can go to when they want to be on that. Everybody got a person who they can go to when they can, when they want, when they need to hear the truth and they don't even want to hear the truth, but you know, this person going to tell you the truth and keep it real. Everybody got a person that they go to, to turn up with. Everybody got a person that they go to, to meditate with, or, you know, center themselves in their, their spiritual beliefs, their original religious beliefs, whatever you believe in, whatever. Everybody has that person. Everybody has a person that they go to, to fulfill whatever they looking for. If you did something wrong and you don't want to hear the truth, but you want to hear somebody to, um, to um, support your BS, to support your raggedy behavior. Everybody got a person for that. You might, you might, um, Jamie might be the wholesome person, you know, okay, I'm gonna go to Jamie because she gonna keep it real with me. She gonna tell me if I was right or wrong or the right thing to do. Or, but if I don't want to know the truth and I just want somebody to support my, support my shenanigans, then I'm gonna call Sharkeisha because I know Sharkeisha with the, the, the jits and she gonna, um, she gonna support my drama. Everybody got a person they could go to. So if you're constantly being that, holding that space for them to vent and you're giving them that wholesome advice, you're that person for them. They need to be that person for you. If they not, cut them off. And I, <laughs> some people might be, I could just hear some people right now. Hey, coach, he kind of cold. But I'm telling you, having boundaries and only accepting certain treatment in your aura, your, your bubble, your circle, it is going to help elevate you. It is going to help elevate your mindset. When you elevate your mindset, you step in, you walk into your leadership, you walk into your, 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 your king or your queen energy. And when you do that, your money increases. And let me tell you how, when you step into the, your leadership, leadership abilities people see you in a different light and people want to come to you correct they want to bring opportunities to you they want to do things to bring you money they want to show you how you can um have the next come up they want to show you how you could save money they want to do those things for you but not if you messing around with Sharkisha and them and they on some bs or not if you um not having boundaries and not having people to to come to you and appreciate you to come to you and reciprocate positive energy to you Boundaries with these type of people is so important. If you constantly be in that peace for them, <laughs> baby, listen, they might not be on the cognitive level for you to, to reciprocate the peace for you. They might not um, intellectually be able to, to say things to you like you say to them. But if they are not even willing to hold that space for you, mm -mm, mm -mm, cut them off. And I mean, cut them off now. <laughs> I remind myself of Martin. Y'all be watching. I love watching Martin, y'all. Martin and Gina. I, that's like one of my favorite shows. I still be watching it like late at night, right before I go to bed. I love me some Martin and Gina. I love them. <laughs> I said, cut it off now. <laughs> but anyway, anyway y'all, cut it off. And I don't care if people say you cold, people think you're mean. People I, people tell me that all the time, uh, certain loved ones. Evan, you mean. But then they come right back like, thank you for telling me that because I needed that. That helped me. I had a breakthrough because I set those boundaries. I'm not mean. As a matter of fact, I'm one of the most nice, loving, caring people that I know. I'm like, I'm so sweet and so loving. But I got that duality. I got that balance. Just as big as my heart is, my beast is, is the same size, if not even bigger. Because you got to be able to protect yourself. When you a winner, you got to be able to protect yourself. You got to be able to protect your energy. Step into your Jesus energy. Jesus wasn't no punk just because he was out here saving lives. He wasn't no pushover. He wasn't no punk. God was setting cities on fire behind Jesus. Like what? You messing with the wrong one. When you sweet when you kind, when you are there for people, you constantly loving on people and you pouring into people, you got to have boundaries with it. Cut these people off if they are not reciprocating energy, okay? All right. I love y'all. The next person, number four, is people who are always negative. You ever been on the phone with someone or especially family members? <laughs> family members tend to do this a lot. A lot. They always negative. They always got a problem for every solution. They always um, complaining, never got nothing positive to say. And you be looking at the phone like, is, does anything ever good happen? How about we start with you just woke up today? That's a blessing. These type of people will call you and have you pissed off at nine o'clock in the morning. Like <sighs> complaining at 9 a.m. And now your, your day is starting rough because because they complaining at 9 a.m. It's like, don't nobody want to hear that all the time. I know I don't. Let me know in the comment section if you don't want to hear that all the time. 
I don't want to hear that all the time. I don't always want to be on the phone with somebody and it's just constantly negative, constantly negative, constantly complaining, constantly got a bad attitude, constantly got problems for every solution that you have, constantly just, just that dark cloud hovering. No, don't nobody want to link up with somebody and they're always negative. You will ruin the, they will ruin your day. They will ruin the vibe, ruin the moment, ruin the outing, ruin the vacation, whatever it is, they will ruin it for you because they're so pessimistic. Don't nobody want to hear that all the time? I want to be around people where we can have, create really great memories and have funny conversations. I like to be on the phone and have belly aching laughter. Like laughter to where I'm begging people like, okay, we got to stop because I'm about to be on myself. Okay, stop. I will, I, that's the kind of conversations that I like. That's the kind of interactions that I like. I like healthy interactions, not where people are just constantly negative. Don't nobody want to be around that all the time. Constant negativity is a no-no. Cut it off. Again, love them from the balcony. That don't mean you, I mean, it's up to you. If you feel led to just cut them out your life, that's up to you. But, you know, sometimes it can be difficult with people who, especially family members, you know, you, you could just love them from the balcony, you know? That don't mean you don't love them. You just don't know why they got time for that. Like, you, when you are intentional about being positive, you are intentional about, about your growth and your happiness and creating um, a great feeling in your home. Your home is your sanctuary. Don't nobody want to hear that. I like to call it barking because I got some family members who get on the phone and that's all they do. And I tell them, stop barking at me, man. All I hear is whack, 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 whack. I don't want to hear that, man. You can vent to me. You could tell me something, but then we're going to move on. And every time you call me, it can't be the same thing. It can't be you always barking at me every time you call me. That's draining. Isn't it? Like, that is so exhausting. Man, if you're a part of the Wonder Circle... Don't be letting people bark at you like that. It's, it, it will literally deplete you. We ain't doing it. Okay. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. Um, number five. <laughs> Man, this one right here. This one happened to me all the time. A anytime I meet somebody or someone who's trying to be my friend or um, and you start to see that they're not genuine. And every time you link up with them or you on the phone with them, it's always about them. They only talk about themselves, only talk about what they doing, what they got going on, uh, who they talking to, their endeavors, their adventures, their this, their this. And they don't even ask you how you doing. It's just me, 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 me. They're so self-centered. They're so, And it's like, if we're on an outing together, this is a relationship with two people. I will never be on the phone with somebody and don't ask them how they doing. I will never go out with somebody and not ask them how they doing, ask them about their day, ask them how their children are doing, ask them, um, you know, if they got a new job, how, how did that, how's that new job going? Did you get your, did you get the, uh, did you land the interview? You, you, you ask about people. It shows that you care. If you ever sit down with somebody at a restaurant or you on the phone with a friend and every time you link up with them, every time you talk to them, it's just me, 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 me. That's a clear indication they in secret competition with you. And it turns into the me show. Look at me. Look at me. They're trying to overshadow you all the time. That's because they see your greatness. So they try to make it about them every time. And they, they leave no space for, for you to say how you're doing. Because they know the moment that they ask you, you're going to come out with, oh, I'm great. Even if you're not feeling great. When you are intentionally being happy, you, you say stuff like, you know, you might have this issue, but it's going to be okay because, because, you know, because I know God got my back. I know the universe got my back. I know things are working in my favor. That's the type of mentality that you have because we're cultivating that on purpose intentionally here at the Winter Circle. So even if you do got something going on, they know you still going to have a positive outlook on it. So they don't want to ask you. But in their mind, they're like, how do they always do this? They, they know that you're doing great. Even in your worst season, they know that you're doing good. You might not think that you're doing good, but I'm here to tell you, you're doing good. You're doing good. Did you die last time? Did you die? No. Did, did you die? No, you're still alive here and kicking. And for the simple fact that you're here at the Winter Circle, you are doing great. You're working on yourself. You're working on your happiness. You're working on your aura. You're working on your vibration. You're working on your mentality. You're working on your health. You're working on your mindset. And when people see you working on that, they want to put a, a cap on you, or put a lid on you. They don't want you to grow out the, out the mason jar. They want to put that lid on that mason jar. So if you are constantly with entertaining somebody, linking up with somebody, and all they do is talk about themselves, they don't even ask about you. you <laughs> listen, you could even, I don't want to say set a trap, 
But you can, I'm gonna say, check the temperature. You could check the temperature with somebody, okay? Let's say, what's today, Tuesday? Let's say Saturday, you going out with your homegirl or your homeboy. Y'all already got plans for Saturday. Here's how you, here's how you check the temperature on this one. Hey, let, uh, hey, Wooty Woo. Um, yeah, we still good on Saturday. Da, da, da. Let them know like, hey, I just um, got this opportunity and I think I want to take it. I just got a job interview tomorrow and I think I want to take it. And then don't talk to them until Saturday. If Saturday, if they don't ask you about the opportunity, mm, you might want to pay attention. If they don't ask you how you doing, if they don't ask you the outcome, if they don't, if, if they don't, if they don't show up Saturday ready to celebrate that with you, celebrate you in general. And that, that doesn't take away from them because you already celebrating them regardless. Because remember, it's the me show. They all they do is talk about this. But that's how you check that temperature. That's how you check the temperature. You let them know, hey, I got this opportunity. Da, da, da. And if they don't ask you how it went, if, excuse me, dang. If they don't ask you, um, be ready to celebrate or just inquire how it went or just inquire some details about it. Oh, that's great. You know, um, where is it? Um, is it going to be an increase of money for what you, if they don't show any, not even the lick of interest in what you got going on, cut it off. I'm telling you. Don't ever sit in somebody's presence and it's always the me show. And they don't always have to just talk about you. But if they don't even ask you how you're doing, they don't show any interest in you. They don't that they're, that they're not showing any support in you and your progress and how you're doing, what you got going on. They don't give a damn about you. They don't care. Don't be sitting up in nobody's face like that, okay? <laughs> this, I feel like this video was a little bit aggressive, but there's certain things that I'll be teaching on, especially with my clients. Book a session with me, y'all, if you ain't booked a session with me. Because the sessions be lit. And I can't, I can't forget to, um, to post the, the testimonials. I'm going to post the testimonials when, I, when I'm done here. But um, <laughs> don't be sitting up in nobody's face like that. Who don't care about you. Who doesn't ask about you. Who doesn't inquire how you're doing about your progress. Or, or even if you shared a hardship with them. If they don't inquire, you know, uh, if you found the solution yet. Or how, how could they be of service to you. Anything. Because you already know you pouring into them. Reciprocity is key. Okay. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time at the Winter Circle. Share this video, like, give me some hearts in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this video. Okay. I'll see you next time.